Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Tony Liddix here, and in today's video we're going to unbox and test out the Carbon Mag Tube Gunstock by Pro2BR. The team was kind enough to send me one of their products to review, so a shout out to them for this opportunity. And I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below so you can get your hands on one yourself. I'm also going to show you how to set it up and configure your adjustment settings to give you the most immersive marksman-like experience. So instead of spending hours watching different tutorials or going around in circles making endless adjustments, you can spend that precious time on more important things. Like, uh, you know. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, hey! I'm watering the drip edge. Why? Because it's a drip edge. It needs water to have purpose. What are you doing? Just asking what you're doing. Oh, I'm watering the drip edge. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button to get more VR content like this in the future and to be automatically entered into the monthly VR game giveaway where I pick one random subscriber at the end of each month to win two Oculus or Steam VR games of their choice. Congratulations to last month's winner, Eli Linares. Alright, time is of the essence, so let's dive in. My first glance at VR gun stocks left me with very little interest simply because I didn't know what to make of them. Surely making your joystick controllers look like a gun is pointless when you have a VR headset on your face. But as I grew to understand them more, I've learned that it's really about weight distribution and imitated stability that replicates holding an actual gun. And since the point of VR is to completely escape reality, having the most immersive features only brings you closer to the experience. That being said, it's worth mentioning that Pro2VR is the very first company to design and create gun hardware for VR systems. Since 2017, many esports team members have been using Mag2 for competition, especially for the game Onward. Pro2VR was there from the very beginning and became the official partner of the VR Master League, which naturally makes them OG of the VR shooter landscape. So now that we know a little bit about the company behind this product, Let's check out the product itself. All right, so let's check this out. What we got in here? Oh, a little thank you, thank you note, and some disclaimers, some QR codes. Get some more stuff from them. All right, so I got the carbon version. Nice. This is the sling. So you round. Yeah, you know what a sling is. I don't have to explain it to you. Nice. Definitely durable. Yeah, the clips are pretty, pretty rugged right there. All right. Take this down. All right. Now the mag tube itself. Mmm, fancy, fancy. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm. So this is all one piece, so I'm guessing you make adjustments to the cups for... Let's unfold this a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so that's the butt. This is... These are the cups right here. These are the adjustments. So you loosen these up and you slide them back and forward so you get a... to get a right feel. Like I said, I'm gonna uh, make sure I, I cover that for you after the unboxing is finished, which there's not much of unboxing to do. This is all one piece, which is nice. Nothing really to assemble. All right, so you got some straps in here. Okay, yep. Safety straps for your wrists. Yeah, you can joy joysticks. We got your hardware in here. I don't know if this is to set up the, the pro straps, which are, I think these. So yeah, this is nice. Yeah, got a little the magnet and uh, the hardware pieces, which I'm not quite sure of how to how these uh, work. All right, let's get this set up. Let's start with the installation of the pro straps. First, we're going to remove the battery cover from the Oculus controller. Now 
Now with the corresponding strap, remove the film covering the adhesive. Next, fasten the adhesive behind the battery cover clip, with the body of the strap hanging out the top end. Push adhesive in tight for a few seconds to ensure it stays in place. Next, remove the factory wrist strap. If you want to use the post straps by themselves, insert the strap adapter in place of the wrist strap. For myself, I will be using the pro straps with the mad cups. So first I will attach the pro tube wrist straps using their supplied adapters, which is of course optional. Now reinsert the battery cover with the pro strap velcro facing outward. Make sure the battery cover is fully fastened. Next grab the corresponding mag cup and slide the wrist strap through the cup's side hole. Secure the cup on the controller until it's around 2 to 3 millimeters from the trigger. Next, slide the Velcro bottom strap through the metal insert attached to the mag cup and begin making your adjustments for comfort. Now the controllers are ready to be used. When ordering the mag tube, you can specify assembled or order the DIY kit to save a few dollars. Of course, I received mine assembled, so we're not covering how to build this from scratch. But each section of the mag tube is adjustable. Once the adjustment is properly made, use the provided hex key to tighten the hex screws. The mag cups are quickly adjustable using the grip knobs. So you can make proper adjustments forwards, backwards, and side to side. Next we're going to attach the sling so you can have the capability to let the mag tube hang over your body when not in use. And a nice touch provided by Pro2BR VR is this attachable hex key fastener giving you quick access to your hex key to make mid-game adjustments. Brilliant. Now let's talk about adjustment setting basics to give you a good universal feeling when using the mag tube. It's important to start with the back. Make sure the butt is vertical and the back rod is adjusted at about a 30 degree angle. Every person's arm length is different, so what you're aiming for is the ability to have the butt resting behind your elbow with the ability to aim the gun upwards and pull the trigger. The front cup should be aligned in a way that doesn't overextend your reach, but gives you a comfortable offset support with your wrist in a non-bent position. Make sure the cheek plate is aligned with a relaxed position of your trigger finger. With your cheek resting against the plate, verify the comfort of your aim by holding up the mag tube like you are looking down the sights of a sniper rifle. Get a feel for attaching and releasing the controllers using the magnetic feature of the mag cups. This will be necessary when picking up items or using pistols. Now let's put this gun stock to the test. I'm gonna go over to settings. Just physical gun stock enabled. And then I'm gonna calibrate it. Alright, I'm going to calibrate a rifle. So let's see the recalibration. Alright, so you see the joystick where the joystick is. 
So install both controllers on your gun stock. Step one, use your thumbsticks to adjust the weapon's angle and offset. Okay. Okay, so I'm obviously gonna want the trigger to be right here. And so I'm gonna have to adjust the front controller just back a little bit. Right, I think right about there. Okay, so it kind of, it, it feels natural now. So it says press and hold both trigger buttons. Let's see here, do I got a good aim? It feels, it feels about right. All right, and so the calibration is done. I'm gonna mark this as universal, so this is kind of like the universal calibration to all the weapons, just for now, until I get a feel of it. All right, and now uh, I'm just going to take this off, allow the sling to kind of hold the gun, and all right, time to go to gameplay. Let's just test this thing out in a, uh, in a free roam, all right? It's so natural. Of course, you gotta get your settings just right, you know, before you actually just dive into gameplay. Otherwise, I'm, I'm sure it'll be very frustrating. Gotcha. This does feel a little heavy, so it's kind of a workout, which is good. I can use it. memory I definitely think will help with the reloading um, but once we get the hang of it, it actually it's just it's so much better using this it really is it's like steadies your aim with your entire body and not just your hands so um, the offset is it's very more it's very more balanced with the gun stock so and like I said, it's, it's a little bit of a workout. You're holding something up. You know, you're, you're getting some of that shoulder strength. You know, it's just nice.
Pro 2 VR designs evolutive products, meaning they can be upgraded. So let's say you purchase this mag tube and down the road you want to make it even better. You can buy and attach the Force Tube Scout haptic module to add some real life recoil. And like I mentioned before, I will leave a link in the description below in case you want to make a very entertaining upgrade to your virtual reality experience. But at the end of the day, is the MagTube really worth investing in? If you don't play first person shooter games, then I guess I'd say no, but I'd also ask why you clicked on this video in the first place. But for everyone else, I honestly have to say yes, it's worth it, for several reasons. First of which is that the quality behind this particular product is mint, whereas other company knockoffs have a very cheap build to them. Of course, carbon material is very lightweight, but it remains very dense, not to mention it has that prestige look. So it's a very high end in the realm of manufacturing. Another reason, like I mentioned before, is that you enhance that virtual reality experience with the realistic feel of the gun stock. Playing games like Onward or Contractors is fun, but lacks the rhythm of holstering a rifle with your full body when using the joysticks alone. Having the mag tube up against your shoulder, resting against your cheek while taking aim really brings the first person shooter games to life. The third reason is better aiming. While playing with the mag tube, I realized my aim was staying steady with my body, not my hands. Now, I don't know who else can relate to this, but for me, after a solid five or six person kill streak, I get overly excited to the point where I start to choke up under pressure and my hands start to shake. The mag tube helps stabilize my aiming completely, which eliminates those jitter fingers. And lastly, the foldable feature of this particular gun stock allows for easier storage, unlike other VR gun stocks that are fixed in place. So overall, I would highly recommend adding this accessory to your VR cabinet. But this wraps up today's video. I hope you got some value from this. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to help support the channel and hit that subscribe button to get more content like this in the future. I'm Tony Lytics, and until next time, happy gaming.